Well, good evening. Not the way to end the night, but uh, welcome to another three minute Thursday. We're actually going to be plugging a tire. I will show you how I plug a tire. It's probably how everybody else plugs a tire. Uh, but you know, sometimes when I didn't know how to plug a tire, the best way to go is to look at YouTube and find out how to plug a tire. So I'm going to show you the what we, the tools we use, and also uh, the the play, the the steps of uh, plugging our tire. And hopefully, I'll show you a successful tire plug. And uh, we'll see how it goes from there. So let's go. And it's going to be dark, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, it is literally like 8:30 at night, and it's been raining all day. It's actually sprinkling still. So. We're going to have some fun changing uh, or at doing this little plug in the rain. Alright guys, so the tools we're going to be using today, now of course you have your, you have to have a compressor and a way to fill up the tire, we know that. Uh, I use a tire gauge, there's a tire gauge of course, and I'm going to show you uh, basically four other things that we use. Now, uh, this is basically, I don't know the proper name of it, but you could buy a tire repair kit with all this stuff in it for usually around 10-15 bucks. I mean it's just dirt cheap, sometimes you can find them cheaper than that at Walmart, but this is the main two tools and then of course this is the filler here, I'll show you. How we use it but basically um, you have this tool helps you pierce the hole better to make it where you can actually utilize it to um, to be able to put your basically your, your plug in so your first step would be using this uh, this punch basically is what it's called second would be your threader right basically this is where your rubber flange which is this stuff here this is actually what plugs your tire this is your plug uh, and I'll show you how I use it when we get over to the tire, but it kind of goes through that 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 thread right there, or that needle, almost like threading a needle in a, uh, on a sewing machine. So basically, you just take that that junk on it, sorry, uh, and basically you'll put it straight into this, and I'll show you how that goes. Also, use rubber cement too. It just it's not a have to. A lot of people don't use it, but it's always good to have a little rubber cement to be able to put place around it once you get it all done. So that's really the only tools you'll need. Um, they sell these basically it almost looks like a screwdriver they're just straight verse handle I like the handles because you need to be able to force this one in and work it and you need to be able to ease this one in without pushing it too far through sometimes when you get the screwdriver head ones it tends to be a little bit harder I mean, it's not an impossibility but it tends to be a little harder to work so that's the tools we're using so let's go look at the tire and uh, go have some fun plugging it you take this tool, you find your hole by basically spraying something on it. I found my hole right there. You take this tool, right there in that hole, that's got a little small hole, and you just work it in there. You can work it up and down, and basically you sit in here, you know it's in that hole. But you want to make the hole big enough to where you can get back in it with your tire plug. So, you see it's just going in, I worked it in. You never even have to take your tire off. We're going to get it fixed though. So now you got a bigger hole. So we're going to get it patched right quick. So here's what you do. Here's your other tool you bought. You get two of them together. You see that weird shape at the end? And then the last thing you get is these little, these little rubber strips. So we're going to take one of these off. These are sticky. So basically you'll take one of these off and you're going to slide it and thread it basically in here like you're threading a needle. So you have it like this. Now what I did is I just put a little extra air in here for it to fade out. So that way I kind of again know where my hole is. Know where it needs to go. We're going to get in that hole right there. Alright, so we got it in the hole. You're going to push through, but you don't want to push. You want these to start bending up, but you don't want them actually going all the way in the tire. You want them to get to about right there. So let's get that done right quick. You see, you got these ends up right here. And we're going to see if this is a hole. But this tool is made where you can just slip it out. Just pull on it, and it's got that little end on the end. So what we're going to do is just try to pull it out without compromising the the plug done okay so now we don't know if it's leaking yet so the way to tell is to put air in it and I got some sealant I just usually put it on the edge and we'll see if this thing is fixed alright so the test now is to we're gonna fill it up to the correct PSI 
Uh, these tires take 35 to 40 pounds. Excuse me, I got a light shining from this one because it's dark. So we're gonna try to get this filled up. Let's see if it makes a difference to see if this, this plug will hold. If this plug held, basically you've got, you know, $14 investment into the tire, uh, tire kit. And if you ever need to buy these, you can buy them in separate little containers like this. You can see it. And basically you can fix a tire for under $5. So let's, let's see if this will work though. Uh, I don't hear it, but again, the thrill test is going to put some, uh, let's put some air in it. Well, there you have it. It is in. What we're going to do, you can leave these on here. Um, it's not going to hurt. And if I was in, like, if I just had, like, I was doing this on a mower tire or something like that, I would just leave them on there because they'll wear off. But being that this is going to be on the road, I'm going to go and take some snips and just snip them. And that way I know that, you know, there's no way that that's coming out. I, I don't believe it's any way to come out because it's so hard to get in anyway. But I'm going to go ahead and cut them off. You don't have to. Um, now, I'm not saying this is a way that, that you want to ride to, you know, a thousand miles, but this will get you off the side of the road. Tires filled up to 35 PSI. No leaks, no fills, no spray. I sprayed it. Nothing coming back out. So, I used a little rubber sealant to go around it as well. So, hey, a way to finish out the night. It, uh, I told Misty when we were heading home, I said, I cannot wait to just get home and get a cup of coffee. It's been raining on me all day. Milked in the rain, worked in the rain, and all of a sudden, uh, now I had to change a, a tire or basically plug a tire in the sprinkling rain. So, glad it's done, but I just wanted to show you why I had to do it and might as well bring you along. And, and that way, if you don't know how to plug a, a tubeless tire, there you go. Very easy. And again, a very cheap and uh, a cheap way to just keep a little kit in your car. It's not going to hurt anything. It can fit in the glove box. It won't cost you $15 to buy it all. It won't cost you about $5 to actually use those little plugs so hope you enjoyed the video hope this helps and hope you're not on the side of the road having to do this but if you do refer back to the max happy homesteading y'all